Hello, I'm Ryan Matthews, host and co-producer of the RPM Show. The next film that I'm going to tell you about is one of the more anticipated movies of the year. It is called I Am Number Four, based on the best-selling novel by Pitagus Lore. Now, this is from director DJ Caruso, who gave us Eagle Eye and Disturbia, and also from producer Michael Bay, who has given us the Transformers series. This stars Alex Pettifer, Diana Agron from Fox's Glee, Teresa Palmer, who was previously in The Sorcerer's Apprentice with Nicolas Cage, and Timothy Oliphant, who was on FX's Justified, and more. Now, this is about a young boy named John Smith, who is one of nine young kids who are sent to Earth to protect it from the evil Mogadorians, who are trying to kill these nine children who possess extraordinary abilities, and they are killing them in order. The first three are dead, so hence the name of the movie, number four. They're coming after him, and he's trying to blend in and just live a normal life, but... Sooner or later, the you know the bad guys track him down, and it's up to number four, who gets an assist from number six, played by Teresa Palmer. So the question is, will they be able to stop these people in time? Will they be able to find the others and restore balance? And also, his protector, Henry, played by Timothy Oliphant, says, only if you combine your powers can you be truly strong. And these powers range from flight to super strength and all different types of stuff. Now, the action, uh, a little bit of comedy is thrown in, and suspense just ensue to make this a great adventure, sci-fi adventure movie. I give this a straight 10 out of 10. If you are going to see this, you the best way to experience it is in IMAX. It's not in 3D, but it is presented in IMAX. Go see this film. Definitely recommend it. I give it you know four stars out of four. I like the cast. I like that DJ Caruso and Michael Bay teamed up to make this particular movie. It's great. It's kind of a mixture of X-Men and V and all different types of stuff. It kind of reminded me of the former NBC drama Heroes a little bit too. But this was great. There was never a dull moment. I really didn't see anything wrong with this. You know, like I said before, 10 out of 10. But we want to hear what you think about this. Send us an email to ryan at the rpmshow.com. Also, you can catch up with full episodes of our show if you go to www.therpmshow.com. Take care, and I hope you enjoy this movie.